back to my YouTube channel, everybody. Slightly different extra video this week because I went to a fancy do on Saturday, just gone, and it was kind of like red carpety, a bit, bit schmoozy, and it's the first time I've been to Sultan God in since you you know what, and I wanted to get glam, and I got a second hand dress, gave it some pockets. Um, gave us some alterations and I wanted to film like a get ready with me for the literally like two people who might ask me about my makeup or hair um, on my videos. This video is for you. If you're new to my channel I normally do kind of like house and DIY and interior kind of stuff so this is a slightly off topic video but I hope you still enjoy it. <laughs> and it's chatty as well so pop the kettle on and join me as I get ready for my red carpet do. So this is the red dress that I got second hand. I got this for 30 euros a boom and I'm not sure what the price was on this originally I did see it on ASOS could have been about 100 euro mark like full price so the girl who I bought it off said it was only worn once and yeah I love it it's got it's just nice and classic I love the neckline it zips up thank god funny story which I'll share in a minute Um, it's a lovely like kind of like skater style but I do have to alter the length and also I want to see if I can put pockets in it and I'm gonna have a try at putting some pockets in it but I really hope I don't ruin it because this is my only option for a dress. Ignore my head. We ain't wearing no makeup until like it's time to put it on. So I bought a larger size than I normally would in the dress thinking oh I'll just take it in yeah bigger size I'll take it in. Bought the dress put it on there ain't no taking it in. <laughs> Thanks to the lockdown life, my bones just grew wider. So this dress requires no taking in. If I am, it could probably be <laughs> done with let out. <laughs> but well, it is what it is. Cheeky thumbs up if you also, if your bones also grew wider in the past 18 months. The planet, like look how like gracious this is. This proper Cinderella. And like red is my go-to color. There's a navy dress in the background that I bought and I think I'm just gonna get a refund on it. It is nice, it's beautiful, but it's not the red dress. I wanted to put pockets in it because a lot of these, like, when you go to, like, events and stuff or if people are taking your picture, well, I never know what to do with me hands. Like, first of all, I'm not about that taking your picture kind of life. But I was thinking if I could put little pockets in it, first of all, I have somewhere to put my stuff. And I could be like, hmm, it has pockets. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to take up the length because that's the easiest thing to do. And there's a slight kind of curve to it, but I literally just measure from the bottom to like if I need to take three or four inches off. One of the annoying things about doing your own alterations is when you're on your own, it'd be nice to be like, hey, can you pin that for me? Like when I used to be in work, I'd ask the girls to like pin a dress for me and then I'd come home and I'd sew the hem. But when you're on your own, it's a bit, you have to pin it and then step back and look and pin it and step back and look. But hey, first of all problems. Also, I was thinking about the pocket. I have a dress that is a going out evening dress like this that has pockets in it. And I'm gonna use the pocket in that dress as template for this one because that dress I like how deep the pocket is and it would have a similar kind of I could do a similar opening it's the same kind of style as this dress so I'm going to use my old dress the pocket in that as a template okay <laughs> to the lady who was offended by my breasts prepare to be triggered <laughs> remember that <laughs> okay this is the first kind of look at the shape so it has a little elastic thing here to keep these up, ignore my bra. Yeah, so as you can see, it is nice and snug all around the bust area. But the length is, it's not too bad. I do have little heels to wear, but I think it just needs to come up to probably like below my knee here. So when I'm kind of going for length, I try to go for like just below the knee. So I think I'm gonna take just like two inches off the length. Um, and don't forget to leave enough for your seam allowance because if I go too short with this, I'll ruin the ratio, if that makes sense. I feel like this isn't something you would have short. We, we gotta keep a classic. It's stressed because it stops 
where your belly gets bloated because there's a free dinner at this event and I was like saying to Karen we're all about the comfort life like I have dresses that are like bodycon and curvilicious but I was like I'll have to like hold my stomach in no and if there's a free dinner and free drink girl it's all you know so I like how it's like nice and structured from here up and then everything else is hidden under the toe of my skirt about the lighting because it is actually getting dark them clocks have changed but I've gotten my first hang on I need to get airpods because the rage I get when they fall out of my head the little stringy things when I pull them anyway so I've done my first pocket and I'm going to show you how I'm going to do my second pocket because I've never actually put pockets in something like I've put pockets in stuff when I'm sewing from a pattern but I've never put socket pockets into something that's already sewn so we have one, I'm very proud of this pocket. Where is she? Pocket, woo! -hoo. So I used, I have a template now for my pocket and it's nice and like kind of hidden into the seam. So I'm hoping when I have the dress on that, yeah, my pocket just blends in and it's on the side seam. So I just gave it a little iron and it's not poking out like too much and I don't think it's ruined the shape of the dress. So now I have to do it on the second one. And apologies if I'm not very good at explaining how to do the pocket because it is a little bit tricky. But if you can just think of the right sides of the fabric together and sticking it to the lining and then making the pocket. I stuck it to the fabric of the dress first, then I pulled it out. Once that was perfect, I then stitched around the pocket. But I will crack on. Also, when I am picking the fabric, I did two like safety stitches. So let's say, for example, if I am taking the fabric off, like from here to here, and I'm unpicking it, I did like a safety stitch on the machine here, like a straight stitch, um, over and back a couple of times so that it won't unravel up the dress. So I'm gonna put the camera down and watch how I put the pocket in, and I hope it makes sense. Apologies for Blondie, she's wanting some attention. So I have unpicked, but I have the two kind of like safety stitches here. So I've unpicked the fabric and I'm gonna do um, a lining to this one and a lining to this one. Stitch them in place, pull them through, and then stitch around. I hope it makes sense. I hope this makes more sense and my dress is inside out so I'm gonna stitch around here isn't that right Blandy? I'm gonna stitch around here and I'm gonna stitch around here 
and the dress is inside out. When I pull this through, it'll just be a nice seam from the front. So I'm gonna stitch this and then pull the fabric through and stitch around the pocket. Stitched them in and I'll tidy up the edges. But I just wanna show you, I'm gonna take the fabric out and this is going to be the pocket. I'm gonna stitch all the way around this pocket and then shove it in and I have a pocket but I am gonna tidy up all of the loose threads and the edges and just overlock these edges as well. It gets dark so quick now. That kind of helps. So there is my pocket and this is my dress. It's kind of hard working with loads of fabric. So now here is my little pocket, you can barely see it. And <laughs> why do girls get so excited for pockets? I don't know if you can see, there is my nice. Oh, come on camera, don't film me now. Because it's dark and because my camera don't want to play ball, I'm gonna give this an iron. I took up the length as well, but the dress is ready to go. Good morning. It is the morning of my thingy-bajiggy this evening and I'm gonna set my hair and I'm gonna go for that Hollywood glam. It's been so long since I set my hair and um, I'm being glam the past like two years that I'm like, I hope this works. It's been a long time since I put me rollers in. Basically what I do is I have the GHD, I don't know which one this is. This is the smaller barreled tongue and I will curl all of my hair inwards towards the face and then I will set it in a roller. When I run out of rollers, I'll just use some bobby pins as well. So I'll have all my hair set and then I'll take it out like this evening. So the plan is I'm going to, I'm going to meet Karen in the hotel. We got like a room, we're making like a day of it and we're just gonna have like the girly chats. So I'll do, I'm not doing my makeup here. I'll do my makeup when I'm getting ready like with Karen. But what I'll do is I'll even talk through my makeup because I know when I'm having the Fs with Karen, I'll just be having the Fs with Karen. <laughs> and I'll be like, I'm using this in my face. And I wanna give you the full attention. Another thing before, I woke up yesterday congested. And I was like, oh no, because you know in this day and age congestion, I actually went and got a COVID test and it was negative. It came back the same day. I would, normally you have to wait till the next day and I was like, what if I can't go? But um, I knew it was just my sinuses. Um, so I have some peppermint essential oil. And if you suffer with your sinuses as well, my friend Joanne gave me some essential oils and peppermint is great. I put it on my hands. And I just do like a couple of deep breaths and it literally like opens up my sinuses. <sighs> You can't beat it. If you saw my IKEA video when I made the thing on the landing, the doors, um, I cut them doors inside and I did wear a mask, but obviously there might have been a bit of dust, which I actually think now is what set off my yeah. sinuses. Also, my hair was washed last night. I'm just using one of those like tangle teasers. Um, let me take out, it's, it's in bits, half of it is melted. Um, so I'm just using a tangle teaser. I washed my hair last night. If I was to wash my hair this morning, my hair would be too silky to curl it. So I always wash it the night before because um, it just gives us just a few more hours to get a little bit dirty. My hair is actually thin, but people are always like, you got so much hair, it looks really thick. But I remember a hairdresser saying, that's why your hair will get greasy kind of quicker is because like the hair and the follicle itself is actually thin hair but I just have lots of it and <laughs> um, I'm gonna get cracking with curling my hair and I'll like speed it up so you can get like the general gist start at the front and the top work my way back and work my way underneath when I take these curls out they're gonna be super duper tight but I'll just get my comb now if I had slidey pins I would actually just slide that in but I don't have any, so I'm gonna use a roller. These are just bog standard rollers, nothing fancy about them. I sometimes use like a bobby pin. I'll just look like Sister Granny when I put my rollers in. Sometimes I'll put a bobby pin in them, but generally the ones in the front don't need it. But I'll put a little bobby pin in if back ones are kind of falling out. Also, my neighbor's cutting the grass and 
I cut mine yesterday. You just know how I love cutting the grass. <laughs> but yesterday I was like, no, this is my last cut. There was a tiny bit of frost during the week, not much, but it's gone mild again. So I was like, I don't think that's my last cut. And I can hear my neighbour, so I'm wondering if he's thinking the same. This is my last cut. <laughs> what we like? Us gardeners. Now I'm gonna put just a bigger roller for this one. And this one needs a bobby pin. And as you can see, I'm curling in towards my face. So if you want that vintage look, curl inwards. If you curl outwards, you'll get that like nice curly Farrah Fawcett, is that her name? A glam, glam bish. I'm gonna, I generally do my like fringy bits first. <laughs> look at my rollers. I promise it'll look cute when it's out. Um, so we're trying to do my fringy bits first. So whenever I do like a vintage style, I'll like, my pattern will just go over a bit more. And then, yeah, these bits. Also, if this was like just like a normal night out, I would do the same technique, but I just wouldn't pin my hair. Um, but it, it wouldn't last as long. So, heated rollers, I have been tempted to get them. But, yeah, I would do the same like curling technique. Just let it go cool, do my makeup and then brush it. I just wouldn't pin it. We got somewhere fancy, so we is gonna pin it. Um, another thing is that people always ask me why I don't go to hairdresser. Like, I still cut my own hair. <laughs> um, I just don't like the fuss, to be honest. I never got a hairdresser and like, it's a lovely treat for people, but like, I prefer to spend like, on a massage or something. Um, but like, see the fuss of it, like, if you get your hair and makeup done, you're sitting in a chair for, I don't know how many hours. I'm not about that. Like, I know I'm sitting in the chair for hours, but I can like, you know, be in the comfort of my own home. <laughs> and my own thoughts. Uh, but yeah. I don't be mad for getting that sort of glam. Girl, have you ever seen something as sexy before in your life? <laughs> I promise I will look so sexy. Um, well, maybe not sexy. But, yeah, I'm not into the glam life. Like, you know, when you see all those Kardashians and they're sitting and they're getting their glam, I just find that so boring. Boring. Like, I'll have fun doing my makeup now, having the chats with Karen. Oh, this roller. Yeah, that's actually one of the reasons why I stopped like getting my hair highlighted was because to get your hair highlighted you had to sit in the chair for hours and I was like, nah. <laughs> I have loads of grey hairs in my roots and I just do the roots every few weeks. Grant. No one notices. Do you know what I mean? Nobody notices. It's like that that song, no one's gonna know. They're gonna know. <laughs> nah, no one notices. Also, I know what you think of girl, you're wearing like a turtleneck with um, your rollers, but it's super stretchy. So I'll get it over. It's also cold today, which is why I'm wearing a woolly jumper. Okay, I'm gonna crack on with this and stop waffling. Okay, I look like Mrs. Brown for us. I've run out of pins and uh, no, I look like a Renaissance painting. Oh my God, image. Thank God my brother is giving me a lift and I don't have to get into a taxi. Oh, did I miss a bit? Okay, <laughs> I look like, uh, do you know, I have a, uh, the, what you call them when they're in a court and they have the rollies on top and the curls on the bottom. Image. I've run out of pins and things and I'm not arsed. So I've just curled my end pieces inwards and I will go over them later. And then when they brush out, they will be really pretty. I look ridiculous. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna pack my case um, and head into town and I'll talk to you kind of what makeup I'm bringing on my face but disclaimer when it comes to makeup my pal Karen who um, we're getting ready together with she's like a beauty writer so she writes about beauty and blogs about beauty and makeup and skincare and like once a year she'll give me a bag of stuff and that does me <laughs> sometimes I might get the odd like press release um, I work with like Cloud 10 as well but generally I don't get like beauty stuff sent to me um, 
it's not my niche. Send me a glue gun, send me a tin of paint, send me a lipstick and I'm less impressed. <laughs> Basically, my going out makeup is the same as my daytime makeup. I just kind of go in with a slightly heavier hand. Um, and as well, if you're at like an event or a wedding or something where there's going to be like photography, I will try and use, because it's going to be indoors and nighttime, I'll use a moisturiser that doesn't have an SPF in it so you don't get like flashback. Um, my skin is very dewy today. I do have some makeup on now because I was doing something this morning and that's because I put an oil on my face which I won't be doing tonight because when that photographs it will look super shiny and not dewy whereas on camera it looks dewy but girl and me life I'll be shiny other glam <laughs> I just stick on stick on nails because I have tiny fingers and again I use the little kiss ones and when I was taking photos for my book my nails were atrocious and I just got little stick-ons. <laughs> um, so that's what I use. I don't go and get manicures because again, you have to sit in one place. No. Um, like I said, ain't my type of glam. I also, <laughs> I won't lift up my foot, but <laughs> I painted my toenails. Um, and that's the first time I've probably painted my toenails this year. Didn't even paint them going on holidays. And yeah, I'll talk you through what makeup I'm bringing. And then maybe in the room, I will just bring my other camera and just show you me sticking it on. But that's not riveting stuff. <laughs> also, I'm back in. Can I just say, if you want your hair, even loose waves, loose wave always starts off with a tight curl. So if you want, I see girls doing loose waves with big barrel tongs and whatever, and I'm like, that would fall out of my hair in two minutes. So the trick I do is, I curl everything really tightly on the small barrel, leave it set, and then once you get your brush and go, that's when you get that lovely big voluminous hair on looser waves. So that's my trick. So if you're buying all these like loose wave thingamajiggies, just curl your hair tight, let it set, and then brush it out and then brush it until it's the desired curl for you. Okay, let's pack. So let's blitz through what is in my makeup bag. Okay, um, let's start with the base. So I've got two note foundations in different shades and I mixed them to get the right one to kind of suit my tone. Let me see, it does not want to <laughs> zoom in. So I have two different shades of note to make the perfect shade and they are number four sand and number three medium beige. I think for daytime I'd wear this one and then just for an evening thing I'd mix this but I noticed it's just a tightly, tiny bit too dark so I kind of mixed the two. And then I also have, this is what I would kind of wear like during the day, like if I'm just like doing like YouTube or flying out to the shops, it's kind of like a kind of like a BB cream. Um, True to Skin Natural Glow Foundation and that's Giorgio Armani. Don't know what that shade is. It says 425 on the back. I don't know if that is like any help. Tend to just mix them and blend, blend, blend. <laughs> then for eyebrows, I just use like a dippy pomade thing. This is just by Makeup Revolution, I think. Um, so that's for eyebrows. Uh, this Stila palette is bronzer and blush. So it's kind of like well used, but it's a nice bronzer and oh, look at Blondie in the reflection. <laughs> Easily distracted. Um, nice bronzer and blush. Then for like eyeshadow, I don't do any kind of like eyeliner or anything like that, but tonight I will wear some eyelashes and I generally go for eyelashes that are like volume but thin like still quite natural not the big kind of thick lashes I think I have like a small little face so if I put big lashes on them I look a bit a bit crazy and um, some mascara this one is the note mascara oh a little bit of concealer as well love rimmel foundation as well actually and rimmel concealer and that should be there <laughs> then just for eyeshadow I don't know what I will put on my eyes, hang on and I open this. I think this is called Born to Run palette and it's by Urban Decay. But basically, whenever I'm doing like my eyes, cause I have blue eyes, I love tones that are like brown, peachy, um, basically anything kind of rusty or brown on blue eyes is a beaut, but I won't be putting much on because I'm all about the red lip tonight. So I'll probably just do like some definition on the eye and then, Mascara and some lashes and then the lips. I don't know why my camera doesn't want to zoom in but when I do a red lip I'll put on some lip balm first and this is the Image Ormedic 
basically it, it's lovely on your lips so any lip balm will kind of do and then I'll do a red lip now on Saturday night I was out and I used this note lip gloss but it actually separated so I think it'd be nice over a red lipstick for a bit of gloss but on its own it's not kind of reliable and then I have this Illa Mask red lippy and this one is lovely but you have to put your lip balm on underneath camera won't zoom what are you doing to me so this is the red lip it's illa mask and it says rocket yeah it just says like rocket on the bottom yeah it's a nice kind of like red lip and i think it will look like nice in my dress and then just for my skin i'm not wearing any fake tan just because i'm still rocking my bit of tan from when i was on holidays in september um so i'm just gonna pop this on my skin the nooks i call it hule prodigy Guse. <laughs> I think it's pronounced wheel prodigious, I think. Um, this is a floral one, leaves a lovely little shimmer on the skin and it smells delicious. And then I also go today saying that I do bring makeup brushes. <laughs> um, and I actually cleaned them for once. You know what, I'm so good when it comes to like, paint brushes, craft, maintain, maintenance of things. But when it comes to my makeup stuff, I'm just like meh. Throwing them all in, to be honest. <laughs> the ones I clean. I am getting Bob Ross vibes with my rollers. Image. I forgot to pack me toothpaste, me toothbrush, me phone charger. <laughs> um, also, lads, I'm after realising I missed the boat when it came to face masks. I should have stitched a matching face mask. Wasn't thinking. And, yeah, I've just got... Standard. In fairness though, the red fabric that I had wouldn't have made for a good face mask because it was silk and you, you would have seen the um, dribble. <laughs> for the compensation of breathing, like a red cotton one would have been much better. So I didn't have any red cotton fabric. So I did miss the boat with that, but I put pockets in the dress. We'll be impressed with that. I am going to flip over to my vlog camera and the sound is not going to be as good. But um, I, I still haven't gotten a microphone for my vlog camera. So I'm going to flip over to that and I'm going to head into town. And then I'll get a couple of shots of my makeup and my finished look. I hope it turns out well how I envision it. 